Hello and welcome to this build which I am doing. I'm using the vampire kind of theme again and today I'm doing something different. My last video that I did was um, from Twilight. It was kind of like Edward's, you know, the Cullens, their house. Um, it's quite a modern house. Um, so that's what I built in my last video if you want to check that out. Um, but this time I'm doing an old vampire house. So this is actually from Vampire Diaries. Um, so this is um, Damon and Stefan's house, the Salvatore boarding house I think it's called. I called it the Salvatore mansion just because boarding house, I don't know, it just didn't sound as good. I don't know, it might be better, I don't know. That's just what I called it. And yeah, so it was really big and complicated. I had to look at so many photos. I created like an album of photos that I had to look at for reference. And then I drew out the floor plan on a piece of paper. And yeah, it just took a very, very, very long time. So that's why I've split this video up into two parts. And in this part, I'm doing the actual building. And in the next part, um, I'll be doing the furnishing. So this part also has the landscaping included with it. Um, and by the way, the back garden of the house, I had to kind of make up a little bit because you don't really see it much in um, the TV series, which is what Vampire Diaries is, by the way. And it's one that I used to watch quite a lot. Um, then I kind of got out of it, but I started watching it again when the vampire stuff came out. It's really good, in my opinion. <laughs> I don't know. I think, yeah, it's a good storyline and the characters are good and it's just entertaining. I'm not saying it's like amazing and like movie magic and like, you know, like really amazingly produced and stuff. It's just, that it's really entertaining in my opinion. Um, yeah, I really enjoyed it. Um, so yeah, that's why I'm creating this house because it's one of my favorite um, vampire houses that there is. It's an, obviously it's a real life house, <laughs> but it's called Glenridge Hall in real life. So I had to look at a lot of images of that. It's, um, yeah, it just seems like a really nice old house. And yeah, I don't know if I mentioned this already, but I, you will see the landscaping in this video as well. And I did a lot for that. Um, yeah, like I said, I couldn't really see the back garden much. So I had to kind of make that up as I went along. So what I did was um, I made a little maze garden and yeah, but you'll see all that. Um, it was very repetitive a lot of this video so obviously I cut a lot out um, but all in all I think it's a really good build and the roofing was insane like we've seen how many different roofs I have and how much I had to like change the build just to accommodate the roofs it was insane but I got there eventually and I think it looks really good um, but yeah it's like a mix of Tudor style and stuff You'll see me skip ahead in just a minute or so um, I went to where I already put all the wallpapers on and stuff. Um, but yeah, I downloaded um, Damon and Stefan from The Sims Gallery um, because someone had already created them and they looked really good. So I included that for the screenshots. Um, I included like a little funny um, let's play a bit, it wasn't really, like there's like 10 seconds of let's play near the screenshots um, where basically I'm just imagining that Damon and Stefan have a conversation. You'll see what I mean, it's kind of funny in my opinion, I don't know, I just thought it was funny. You'll probably all be like, what the hell was that? <laughs> but yeah. And I use lots of different windows. Um, there's also lots of chimneys on here. I think there was four in total chimneys that I put on. Um, so around the front we've got all completely old-fashioned uh, windows. Around the back I do include some more modern windows just because I remember that in some of the um, screen, in some of like the scenes from the TV show that like massive windows so there's some like, old-fashioned massive windows but then there's some more kind of modern ones because this is actually set in modern day um, so yeah this is set in modern day but it's an old house so it'd probably be renovated uh, in some areas that's why only a few of the windows are a little bit more modern uh, but yeah I love all the wallpapers that I use it was really fun creating this kind of house I don't do it very often I mostly do modern because that's just, I don't know, it's the easiest thing to do with The Sims because they have a lot of modern stuff. Um, 
and I don't know I do like the modern style a lot but I really my, I think my favorite style is like where you have maybe an old a big old house but with modern furniture or um, a big modern house with old-fashioned furniture so like vice versa I like to mix up the styles um, yeah I just added those arches there which I thought thought looked really nice and they were actually in the real life build <coughs> Sorry about that. Um, yeah, just adding another little jutting out area. And then I think we're gonna jump into the landscaping now. Yeah, so as you can see, there's like this massive driveway and you'll recognize that immediately if you've seen the TV show. Even if you haven't, I think you would enjoy this house because it's just a really big, beautiful house with lots of detail. Um, there's a few gargoyles every now and then um, I've included around the house just to like reference the vampire stuff pack and things. And there's um, a few of those like old doors with the big knockers on and stuff and also statues and a sundial so there's lots of references to vampires and things. I loved mixing and matching with these vines. I found that one type of vine didn't really work but if you use like all of them <laughs> they really work together and the thorns as well they kind of make it look like a bit of a dead vine that's crawling up so it really worked using a mixture of all of them and I think it helped it look old and not too overgrown like kind of overgrown but still well kept so yeah in the pictures that I've seen of the house it had like a few big tall trees in that middle grass circle um, but I didn't want the trees to block the house so I tried to choose a bit smaller trees. What I really wanted was trees that had really tall trunks um, so that when you looked through all you'd see was the trunks but the leaves were like above the house, you know what I mean, so the leaves wouldn't block the house. Um, and yeah, this little area kind of annoyed me a bit. I saw in the pictures there was another little grass like triangle area and you're just like splitting up the driveway. But I just, I don't know, I couldn't get it right. <laughs> And the triangle's a little bit wonky, but forgive me, it's not meant to be perfect really, I suppose. It didn't look perfect in the actual thing. So, yeah, and, um, I don't know where I was going with that. <laughs> um, so yeah, I had one rock here, but then there's a million more rocks to come. So you can see me here starting it off, and here's me finishing it off, because there were literally so many rocks so this would probably take quite a long time to load in your game if you want to download this build because there's literally I don't know hundreds of rocks just lining all of the roads and lining some of the flower beds so yeah this would take a long time to load there's so many items on here there's just so many plants and rocks and um, for the landscape and I'm mostly just I stuck to the same few plants so I used all like the kind of wildflowers I use like grasses and stuff and um, I didn't want it to be too bright and colorful I just wanted it to look a bit wild and overgrown and um, I don't know like maybe w once someone had planted those flowers but now there were also like grass and stuff growing in there as well because it hadn't been kept properly I think that's just what I was kind of going for but yeah I just find this bit so therapeutic to watch I don't know if anyone else does I think some people hate watching landscaping but I think for me it's like one of my favorite parts because it's just it's so like random and like every little piece comes together and you can just see it all like building up I don't know I really like it <laughs> but let me know in the comments if you think I should show more or less landscaping or more building and also what kind of length of video you think is too long or too short because like my last video was 20 minutes long and I don't know if that was too long I probably should have split it up into two parts because I had to cut out a lot of the furnishing and also a lot of the building but let me know if it was better cutting some stuff out or if it's I don't know better the other way that I used to do it um yeah just adding some more stuff around here I think the way I did this um the way I've done this video is the way I want to do the rest of them from now on so I skip ahead in some bits but I don't actually miss anything out and um, yeah I just kind of delete this little bit and create a level that goes down I did see a few pictures of the garden and it did have some levels that were like stepped down 
um, and like rockery. Um, so I, yeah, I stepped this down a bit. And I also saw one, one image where there was a pool and one image where there was a pond in the back garden. So I kind of made like a mini pool pond. <laughs> like, I'm, I'm imagining this. It used to be a swimming pool, but it's kind of overgrown into a pond kind of thing. But you could still swim in it because, um, well, there's a diving board. There's a ladder to get into the pool and out of it. And it is actually a swimming pool. So, But we are now at the end of the video. So I hope that you enjoyed watching and I hope that you enjoy watching the screenshots as well. See ya.